Do you have to go? Yeah. Hey kids, mum's off to work. Bye. I got a wife, Jennifer. I've got three children. Imogen is my second. My eldest is Harley. And Kirby, our latest one, is my third. Come on then, let's put your jelly shoes on. And then we can go. And then we can go, yeah. We went to the shopping mall in Hull and we saw that they were selling like a VR headset that you put your phone into. That's it, too. I went home and then Imogen packed up and she was like, I want to go, I want to go. And when she put it on, she got really, really upset and she starts crying. That's when I realised that what she was watching wasn't really suitable for a child like Imogen. And that's why I took it on myself to create videos that was suitable for Imogen. Come over here, look. You have a look at the flowers while I get the camera ready. Stay where I can see you. When you see Imogen, you see her as a normal child. There's like no physical disabilities there, so people don't see her as a disability child, they just see her as a very friendly child. But Imogen was actually diagnosed with Williams Syndrome. It's a rare genetic condition. Even though she's eight going on nine, the man sets like a few years back to what her actual age is. You tell me where should put the camera? Should put the camera right there? No, there. Back then when I started it, it was just a simple sensory world where it was just different colours and sounds. So then I took it a step further and that's when I made it into a VR book. Oh, here we go, look. Each page is a different lesson. Some maths? Oh, yeah. You want to do some maths? Oh, look, we've got some new ones, look. Imogen gets distracted very easily when she's learning new yeah, things. See yeah. So this one is blue. 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 I'm taking that distraction away because there's nothing happening around her. Can you say it? Blue. Because it's only Imogen and the VR. Yellow. Good girl. It helps her with her memory capability, like learning words. You found the birds? Yeah. And a numbers as well, the maths has gone amazingly good just lately. Big clap. Oh, big clap. Yay. I create different worlds, I create different lessons that she can educate herself from. The money side to the project is an issue. The money rocks. <laughs> I know I need investment to make this product work and get it out there in the world. But getting investment has proven to be very, very difficult. <laughs> the main part of the problem is everyone saw me as different. What's like your bachelor's degree? What PhD have you got, etc., etc. And when I turned around and said to him, I'm a simple guy with just a chef's job who's literally taught myself all of this, I don't think they were too impressed. But it doesn't stop me teaching myself new things or trying to create a new adventure or trying to create something different towards the project to add into it to make it better. What I would say to someone else trying to create an invention to make something better in the world is never ever give up on it because anybody can do anything if you put your mind to it. <laughs>